Hello and welcome to Issues and Answers, a production of the Government Information Service. I am your host for today, Geraldine Bisset Joseph. Now, May has been designated Hypertension Month by the World Hypertension League. With this in mind, the St. Lucia Diabetes and Hypertension Association usually has a lot of activities happening around that time of year. However, due to the fact that so many people suffer from the illness and also there's a lot of education that needs to be got out there. That is not the only time of year that the association does a lot of work in sensitizing the public. And just to prove the point, I'm actually joined here today by um, Claudine Mathre, who is the foot health practitioner and client service rep at the St. Lucia Diabetes and Hypertension Association. And also Elizabeth Ludovic, who is the chair of the PR and Fundraising Committee. Ladies, thank you for joining me today. Thank you Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Brilliant. Now, let's talk, um, first of all, about the medical condition, hypertension. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people most probably know a lot about it, but just to sensitize people more so again, tell us a little bit about hypertension. What is hypertension? Okay, hypertension is a common disorder in the blood, mm -hmm. which is where the blood pressure is abnormal. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the blood pressure is like 140 over 90, mm -hmm. that is abnormal. Okay. And that is the beginning of the end if you don't take care of it. Okay, all right, no problem, okay. Um, so it's sometimes, you, you mentioned high blood pressure because it's actually sometimes called high blood pressure, right? Yes. Okay, now what actually causes the illness? <sighs> The illness is caused by ourselves. Okay. Some of it is hereditary, but n mostly what we eat, mm -hmm. what we do. Mm -hmm. We don't exercise. Mm -hmm. We don't eat right. We eat the wrong things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't do what Mother Nature say we're supposed to do. Okay. And that would cause a lot of disorder in our bodies mm -hmm. and put pressure on the on the heart mm -hmm. where we know the heart is the main organ where the blood goes through mm -hmm. to our whole body mm -hmm. and if there is pressure there it will cause the heart to function irregularly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if the heart is not functioning properly that means we have problems in the blood flow. Mm -hmm. For example, plaque in the veins, mm -hmm. where the blood flow from parts of the body back to the heart and back out. Mm -hmm. And that would be caused by what we eat okay. and what we don't do. If we don't exercise, we're not allowing the, the veins, the arteries, to allow the blood to flow the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if we don't exercise and we don't eat right, mm -hmm. we don't drink water, mm -hmm. this would happen. Mm -hmm. Salt and sugar are main contributors. Our foods have salt mm -hmm. because it's natural. Right. Our fruits and vegetables have sugar because it's natural. But we tend to have an extra want, an extra taste. So we add salt, we add sugar, mm -hmm. and that causes problems for us. Okay, all right. Now something that you mentioned there, and I don't know if Ms. Matthew can elaborate on that, um, exercise was mentioned. Now people hear exercise and they straight away want to know, um, oh, do they need to sign up to a gym or whatever? <laughs> but when you talk about exercise, you're not talking about people being extreme, like in the gym, working out to extremities, are you? Not at all. Mm -hmm. I think um, that's why I avoid the word exercise and I say activity. Oh, okay. Because persons tend to think that you have to join a gym, mm -hmm. you have to be busting yourself on a treadmill. Mm -hmm. But I think it's activity and um, it has to be incorporated in our daily routine, part mm -hmm. of what we do. And even on Tuesday night, I was telling a group, 
Um, you may not be able to take 30 minutes at once, mm -hmm. but you can do it twice, 15 and 15, right. 10, 10, 10, mm -hmm. or five by six. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's, but just getting at 30 minutes, right. it goes such a long way mm -hmm. because the lack of exercise could wreak havoc on our bodies. Okay. And we really need the exercise. Mm -hmm. And as Ms. Ludovic said, um, hypertension is a lifestyle disease. Mm -hmm. By far, it is a lifestyle disease. And um, a lot of the salt intake, um, it's a culprit. Mm -hmm. And um, as we speak, lots of persons with hypertension don't know they have it. Right. Because they have never checked. Very true. So they walk around saying, well, I don't have high blood pressure. That doesn't bother me. Mm -hmm. And um, they might not live to know they had it. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. why we're here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Ms. Ludovic actually um, mentioned something that she said that it, it could well be hereditary. Um, it could be. So, if, if you have somebody in your family or mm -hmm. members of your family um, mm -hmm. that have it, that, that might be because you were telling me people don't check. That might be a reason why you should oh, yes. always check. Oh, yes. You should always check. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. And um, in the Caribbean, some of us, mostly men, Right. But some women mm -hmm. don't like the doctor. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we, they, we don't <laughs> like the doctor. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's because of our culture, mm -hmm. cost of living. Right. We always feel doctors are expensive. Mm -hmm. But you, you know, you can have the apparatus and have people in your neighborhood that can do it for you, mm -hmm. that can help you. And some of us don't like to ask for help. Yeah. Very and true. that is so sad. And uh, when you don't ask for help, you don't get. Mm -hmm. And you will be there and you just need to be checked to know where you stand. Mm -hmm. Years ago, people used to say, oh, everybody should ch check for HIV. Mm. I think hypertension is worse than that. Mm. And we need to take an approach like that because hypertension can cause so many different diseases, right. Yes. Right. a lot, mm -hmm. heart attacks, stroke, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And now they've just found out dementia is getting very prevalent. Mm -hmm. And if you have high blood pressure and it's not checked, mm -hmm. it can lead to dementia in your older age. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so, so um, hy hypertension is, could actually be the cause of many other illnesses. Oh, many. Many. yes, it oh, can. Okay. Yes, it can. All right. Cancer. Okay. Mm -hmm. like no. okay. I was just about to say that, as you said, cancer, mm -hmm. the World Health Organization, um, there's, a, there's a statement that they made and they said, if um, I should tell you stop smoking because you'll get cancer, mm -hmm. you would, but you don't associate high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And um, high blood pressure can cause so many other stuff. Right. Okay. So it can really damage your body. So mm -hmm. just as you take note, if somebody says cancer is coming, stop smoking, mm -hmm. you really need to start taking note because we might overlook it because you don't see it. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't see it. Sometimes you don't feel anything. Yeah. And that's why it's called a silent killer. killer. Excellent. Brilliant. It's called a silent killer. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's only after you died. I say, oh. That's she had what her. killed that's him. That's what oh. killed him. Yes. Okay. So right. it's important that we check. Okay. Now, Ms. Mehta, you, you mentioned something there um, in regards to what it is that we really should look out for and such like. So when we come back, we're going to go to a break in a little while, but when mm -hmm. we come back, I would really like for you all to get into details about maybe some of the symptoms that people should look for mm -hmm. um, just in case they, they're not feeling well and mm -hmm. it might be hypertension. Okay. But as I said, it's time for us to take a short break. We will be right back. Hypertension is a deadly disease that is common in St. Lucia. We depend on blood pressure monitors to determine if our blood pressure is too high or too low. Should a reading on these measuring devices be incorrect, we are literally putting our lives at risk. Doctors, caregivers and patients, get your blood pressure meters verified by the Senusha Bureau of Standards to ensure the accuracy of measuring devices. Look for a green pass sticker on the blood pressure meter at your next visit to the doctor. The correct reading can mean the difference between life and death. For more information, contact the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards at 456-0546 or email slbs at candw.lc or visit the website at www.slbs.org.lc. St. Lucia Bureau of Standards, making quality and standards our way of life. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. Today we are speaking hypertension. Um, ladies, before we went to the commercial break, I was saying um, I would really like for you to point out what are the symptoms that maybe people should look out for um, that might actually indicate that people might actually have hypertension. 
Sometimes you meet somebody and they tell you they're having a pain behind their neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're having a pain on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. yes. They're having tingling in their toes. Okay. These are some signs. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get up and you say, you have a headache on one side. Mm -hmm. Some people get nosebleed. Mm -hmm. All these things mm -hmm. are, are signs mm -hmm. that you need to check. Okay. Mm -hmm. All these are signs. Even irregular heartbeats, mm -hmm. that's one of the signs, or even nausea, mm -hmm. yes. dizziness. Okay. And these are signs that people have to look out for. But the most important sign that mm -hmm. um, we want to tell you about is none at all. Okay. Yes, as you're saying. <laughs> yeah. None, none at all. Saying, and yeah. mm -hmm. a large um, number of persons you're walking about with no signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. They're fine every day, mm -hmm. but the, the pressures are sky high. they yes. hitting the roof. Okay. And they're fine. Okay. Yes. They're absolutely fine. Okay. And, and that's some of the people that get the stroke. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It will just hit you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you get a stroke, mm -hmm. and they say, oh, he was just fine a while ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. But... Okay. But you see, that thing around. has been happening in his body for years. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it was never checked, mm -hmm. that's why it, it, it ended up with a stroke. It doesn't okay. have to. Okay. I mm -hmm. know persons who have been hypertensive for years and mm -hmm. they're fine. Mm -hmm. But they're taking care of themselves. They're watching the salt intake, mm -hmm. exercising, okay. drinking adequate water, mm -hmm. sleeping well, mm -hmm. and um, they're fine. Okay. So you can yeah. live a normal, healthy life with high blood pressure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about, you mentioned some of the things that people could do. Tell me about um, what are some of the treatments that, that, that will be suggested, not even so much so in a, a me medical capacity, but what are some of the treatments or things that people could do who have high um, blood pressure if they would like to bring it down? You mentioned sleeping, you uh -huh. mentioned drinking plenty of water. What other things can Exercise, people do? Exercise, sleeping, mm -hmm. drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. Keeping a positive mental attitude is very important. Yes. Okay. Very, very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. They might be taking all the tablets and... and um, you worry. And you walk down the road and you saw me and you had some beef for some reason and mm -hmm. you just tend to get tense up and mm -hmm. you're all angry and anxious mm -hmm. and your pressure is going up. And I have okay. no idea. Mm -hmm. I'm fine about my business but your mm -hmm. pressure... It's is ready to burst your veins. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it really is a fact that stress can actually oh, cause. Stress oh, yes. can. Mm -hmm. Stress can oh, yes. definitely cause it. Oh yes. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, now, as I said, it's, I know it's vital to check with your GP, but I also know that there, there may be, apart from water and stuff, are there natural things that people can eat and stuff that might be actually be able to help bring down pressure? Cut out red meat. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, go back to basic. Mm -hmm. Back to the plants. Okay. okay. Back to basics. Yes. Mm -hmm. Back to the plants. Eat your cucumber, mm -hmm. your shining bush, what a lot of young people don't know now, mm -hmm. aguma, zebak, mm -hmm. and all these things that our foreparents used to use. The good mm -hmm. stuff. The, the good stuff yeah. that we don't want to use now, mm -hmm. the coupier mm -hmm. and these things. Strangely, I went to a doctor mm -hmm. and she said to me, oh, you're fine, but you should get some coupier. Mm -hmm. When she tell me coupier, <laughs> I never knew the, the, the right the name. Yeah. It's spirulina. Ah, you can look it up okay. and you have it all in your flower plants, mm -hmm. all in your backyard. Mm -hmm. You could drink it and the water, you could steam it and eat it like a vegetable. Mm -hmm. And these things, my mother, when I showed it to my mother, my mother said, um, mm -hmm. and I said, mom, you serious? And you never told me about it. Yeah. A doctor sent me you to see. get it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? So we could just try and go back to basics. Okay. Stop all the chicken cut the red meat totally mm -hmm. that should be out okay Mo and uh, most importantly too we should limit our salt intake mm -hmm. well that too mm -hmm. limit it limit it limit it mm -hmm. i mean an adult should not have more than a teaspoon added um, salt for the day yeah that's six grams okay yes. so if you have to check through the day and look at all the labels yeah of the added salt that we take in yeah in and other foods already and yeah. in our yeah. peanuts mm -hmm. and our everything mm -hmm. yeah. if we add it up for the day you'll see how much extra salt you took oh, yeah, in took so in. just think about you as an adult and six yeah. grams yeah that, that's the maximum you should have so just think about it for the whole day <laughs> and this okay. and then to cause your head to spin because if you have to just check it mm -hmm. you'll find it's out that we have taken so much so much yeah okay that yeah. our body does not need mm -hmm. and um sometimes um persons tell me they drink passion fruit juice without sugar, mm. it helps lower their pressure. Some mm. people okay. do tamarind juice tamarind. Okay. Yes. without sugar, yeah. it okay. lowers. So most of the local juices, mm -hmm. like blending it and drinking yeah. some of it, yeah. it that has helped help. some persons in lowering their pressure. Okay, brilliant. That's so and something else, our vegetables, 
we need to stop boiling our vegetables. Mm. Just steam it. Because mm -hmm. when you steam, you don't use salt. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just steam your vegetable. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin, Christopher, carrots, all these could be steamed, mm -hmm. not boiled. Okay. Because when we boil it, mm -hmm. we destroy all the nutrients mm -hmm. and we only taste the salt when we eat. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all. And, and okay. another rule is that when you cook, don't add the salt. Add it after. So because when it's cooking, sometimes you lose the taste. Yeah. And after it's cooked, you add more salt. So anything. after it's yes. cooked, you add a little salt to mm -hmm. taste. Mm -hmm. And then that would be one of the ways you could reduce your salt intake. Okay, brilliant. Lots of information. Brilliant. Okay. So now we've talked a bit about the, the, the medical condition itself. I just want to um, talk a bit about the association. Mm -hmm. Because even though I know you guys have been there for a while, mm -hmm. people might not know you are there and even the services that you can offer and such mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me a bit about the association? I understand that um, it was launched in 1989. Mm -hmm. um, but what was the objectives back then and have they changed at all to what they are today? I think we um, pretty much just say, I mean, that we wanted to reach the nation mm -hmm. in making them more aware of diabetes and hypertension. Okay. Now, because we're focusing on hypertension in May, which is the month, mm -hmm. um, we still have the mandate to help persons and family, family members, mm -hmm. persons are living with the condition to cope with it better, and persons who are around them to help understand what's really happening, what's high blood pressure, mm -hmm. what can it cause, and what can I do as an individual to prevent myself from getting it and to mm -hmm. help those living with it. So okay. I think it's pretty much remained the same. Okay. We still have that same message that we want to avoid, prevent, mm -hmm. eradicate, <laughs> if yeah. we can say yes. that word. Okay. Yes. We want to do those things. Mm -hmm. And we want to Alicia to know the association as that. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. What kind of activities do you actually um, do throughout the year that people could look out for? There is a lot of testing happening. We mm -hmm. do a lot of health fairs, mm -hmm. even though it's not ours. We participate in okay. health fairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we do the, this month of May as mm -hmm. hypertension, and mm -hmm. we do the month of November as diabe diabetes. Okay. But as I, I got onto the board mm -hmm. last year, mm -hmm. and I think we could do more. Okay. There's a lot more that could be done. Mm -hmm. We have been doing a lot of education. Mm -hmm. We have been doing a lot of testing. But after the education and the testing, I think we can do a lot more like being more involved in their life, like mm -hmm. Claudine said, mm -hmm. being more involved mm -hmm. and assisting the people living with diabetes, with hypertension or diabetes, mm -hmm. assist them more. Okay. For example, we have a lot of amputations. Mm -hmm. Amputations are expensive. Mm -hmm. I would be happy to be in a position on the executive mm -hmm. when somebody has to pay for an amputation of $10,000 mm -hmm. that we can assist. Okay. Um, like some other associations mm -hmm. would assist if I should steal a chance there mm -hmm. um, with faces of cancer also. Mm -hmm. And we assist from the time the person is diagnosed mm -hmm. until we hold their hand until death okay and okay. i would i would be happy to see something like that happen mm -hmm. since um hypertension is so deadly mm -hmm. it leads up to cancer mm -hmm. if we as an association could do more financially for families mm -hmm. not just because we have the doctors the nurses and everybody there at our disposal mm -hmm. we need to be able to do more to assist people mm -hmm. living with hypertension. Okay, if you can just hold that thought there, because okay. when I come back, I was going to um, talk about that a bit more again. Okay. Because I know that the association actually talks about the needs as well, looks into the needs yes. of the society. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, we do. So yes. we'll be right back after this break. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am a child. I am HIV positive. I am a Muslim. I'm a journalist. I am gay. I am a political activist. I am differently able. I am Chinese. And me, I'm a little plus size. The first step toward change is awareness. The second step is acceptance of individuality and differences within all of us. 
a message brought to you by the Department of Health and Wellness. Welcome back to Issues and Answers. I am here with the St. Lucia Diabetes and Hypertension Association and we are talking hypertension. So before we went to break, um, we were discussing um, the many things that the association would like to do. Mm -hmm. And I also mentioned, looking through some of um, the, the, the documentation that the association has, I was actually quite shocked to find out that the association puts a lot of effort into finding out what the needs are in society for mm -hmm. people suffering from hypertension. Yes. Yes. What, what have you actually highlighted as things that are really needed in St. Lucia at the moment? Prosthesis. Mm. Mainly. Uh, too many people walking around with one leg on crutches mm -hmm. and it is so hard. Um, so we would l really look into, there is a factory I would say mm -hmm. that's producing it in Viewfort. Mm -hmm. If we could partner with them, mm -hmm. because w maybe we know more of the people than them. Mm -hmm. They only produce in it. Right. So that's one area we could look at. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, as uh, Ms. Ludovic said, partnering, um, four persons actually have been trained. Yes. To yes. Um, actually make, make the prosthetic them. limbs oh, here. Mm -hmm. um, all the raw material is coming in. It was sponsored. Mm -hmm. And um, we can really, we're very happy about that. Mm -hmm. That locals have been trained to make those limbs, mm -hmm. high quality limbs, and persons who have had amputations can actually get fitted and get limbs made right here for them. Okay, that's mm -hmm. brilliant. Because my Fine. next question is actually going to be, um, are the needs, do you find the needs are being met as we speak? Yes, because that's happening too in collaboration with Council for Persons with Disability. Ability. Okay. The persons who are trained from that association. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, that's happening right now. Okay, yeah. that's very good, that's very good. Now, you're, as I said, you're an association, um, and they, I know you have other members as well. So if people were to try and get in touch with the association, can you give me a, a, some insight into like how the associ association is made up? I know you are the PRO, mm -hmm. yes. the, mm -hmm. the chair mm -hmm. for PRO and, and mm -hmm. fundraising mm -hmm. and such. Like, Who else is okay. actually in the association? Well, we have a president, mm -hmm. vice president, Mm -hmm. Secretary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. treasurer, well, um, chair of chair of chair accounts, of committees, mm -hmm. different yeah, committees. Yeah, we have committees. Okay, mm -hmm. right. right. We have the northern, mm -hmm. um, northern rep, the yes. northern rep, mm -hmm. southern mm -hmm. rep. Mm -hmm. um, we have on our executive, on our board, mm -hmm. we have a representative from the Ministry of Health. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. And uh, we have um, Lions Club mm -hmm. that assists us. Mm -hmm. So. By and large, it's uh, like a normal association right. with the mem the board members, okay. and then you have the office staff, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the office staff is the association, mm -hmm. the management team, and the office staff. Okay, and we are located on Coral Street. Okay, 60 that's Coral what Street. Saying. Sixty okay. Coral Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, and our telephone number, the office is four five two seven six nine three. Mm -hmm. We sometimes have strips that we give away mm -hmm. and we sometimes we all the time or most times mm -hmm. have strips for sale okay we have mm -hmm. glucometers for sale mm -hmm. so that's part of what we try to get mm -hmm. it cheaper mm -hmm. to the public okay mm -hmm. okay okay when we, we have that. when we have our health fairs mm -hmm. it's free or not free it's sponsored mm -hmm. right for example if gis mm -hmm. wants to sponsor a health fair, mm -hmm. we would do it and you would you ask us it, to yes, come and mm -hmm. do it for you, for your staff mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. for example for people in this building. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these are the things we did, we, we do okay. to really push the association okay. and um, later in this month we have two big health fairs in view for On the 31st. Yeah. Yeah. On the 31st mm -hmm. Next at Friday. the two Marcy malls mm -hmm. and uh, um, We'll be having lots and lots of other people coming there to talk, mm -hmm. to do the testing, and to help people to bring the awareness out. Mm -hmm. And we have been tar targeting the north a lot. Okay. So we decided, no, we have to do the south. Mm -hmm. And we're having two on one day. And okay. Sufre Lookout will be doing you soon. Okay, all right. Now, if I was a person, again, that's suffering from hypertension, and I just wanted information such as I can also just come into the association and talk to people as well, yes. if yes. something was happening to me and such mm -hmm. like. That's and readily available. Our doors are open from 8.30 to 4, mm -hmm. from 8 to 4.30, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
and um, persons are encouraged to come in and um, we turn nobody away. Mm -hmm. We do pressure tech checks on persons who they can't afford. So we, we look out for the indigent. Mm -hmm. We look out for the less fortunate. Mm -hmm. We don't charge them. They come in and or we charge minimal. Okay. But persons we know can't afford, we don't charge them. Okay. We do the services for them. Mm -hmm. And our doors are opened. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I agree. You could also, if, if you're not hypertensive, mm -hmm. you could also go and get Claudine to check mm -hmm. your feet. Okay. To tell you if you're wearing the right shoe mm -hmm. or what shoe she thinks you mm -hmm. should wear. Okay. She's a foot specialist. Okay, okay. So I know that service is readily available to yes, everybody. Yes, yes. Okay. And she's yes. the only one on the island. Okay, brilliant. That's good to know, you see. Yes. It's very good because as I said to, uh, in, in, in my opening. Yes, it's there, the service is there, but not a lot of people know well, yeah, about it. So. Yeah, a lot of yeah. persons are not aware of the services that we offer. Mm -hmm. We do, apart from blood pressure, sugar testing, cholesterol testing, mm -hmm. and we do body analysis where we do like the body age, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a whole, um, the body muscle, the body fat. That's brilliant. We do a whole range of other services. Okay. And right. we do corporate screenings. Mm -hmm. We go to corporate companies. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. assist a lot of other companies. So, mm -hmm. okay, all right. Um, persons are trying to get away of the services that we offer. Yes. Very good. Very good. That is why we. I. am hoping the board can, with the association, can do a little more mm -hmm. financially for mm -hmm. people living with it. Okay. All right. Now our time is going to be running out very soon. But before um, we go, I just really wanted to talk to you about um, what in your opinion, would you like to say to people out there? I know we've talk, talked a lot about exercise, we've talked a lot about food, but what would you like to tell people out there, especially, you know, in regards to their health and so that they stay, stay clear of hypertension and if they do already have hypertension, what their, their, their next step should be? Get tested, mm -hmm. know your numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, when you get tested, you go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Get tested, know your numbers, go back to basics. Okay, brilliant. Then visit this. I would say the same. Visit your healthcare provider. Mm -hmm. And the theme actually for hypertension month is know your numbers. Okay. So we tell persons know your numbers. And the only way you know that is if you go to your healthcare provider. And check it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much for joining me today because the information has been brilliant. There's so much that you have actually um, informed us about. So thank you. Thank, thank you for having thank us. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> well, that's all for Issues and Answers today. However, stay tuned and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.